Well guys, I have, I've had a lot of first trapping. This, this is another first for me. Uh, and by the way, welcome to the next episode. So here we go. Alright guys, so this here, this beaver was on 10 foot of chain. Here's the disaster, but the water level is up. I check this every day, multiple days. And you know what? By the way, an otter went up there. You see those tracks? He didn't even find this. This beaver was down here. It looked like it was part of the bank. Uh, after the water went up so high, it became a drowning setup. And uh, he was tucked in right here. I'd have never found him. Never found him. But I, I came up here to put in a new set because other beaver were coming around working it. And that otter came around. Um, but I didn't want the otter. But the other beaver had been up here squirting caster. So, brought another trap down, seen this chain going across, not that one, that's the one for the next trap, but seen this chain going across, I'm like, no way. And I followed it, and the whole bank was a big beaver. And so we got this monster flat tail. I mean, it doesn't show up on camera, but oh, I'd guess it, probably 60 pounder, 50, 60, right in there. Uh, it just looked like it was part of the bank. I pulled it out. And boom, that's beaver number 10 this season. And I didn't lose my setup, which is what I had feared happen. And uh, and you guys see how much otter love beaver. So anyways, gonna get th this reset and that other new 650 is gonna go on the other side. Now it's so fun, part of traveling. Well guys, you see some of the water depth change we've been dealing with. We'll remind you, just a few days it was up there. Um, but you see it's went down and you also see, so is our trap. Try not to get too hopeful, it's been a slow day. Two days of remaking sets, but we got one beaver in the truck. Let's see if we get anything else. Guys, I couldn't be more excited. Beaver number 11, number two today, front foot catch. The Bridger 3 wasn't letting them go. Oh, you know, sometimes even a 30 pound beaver just makes your day. So, that's beaver number 11 this spring. I'm gonna reset these. Man, I hope this water don't drop much more. Getting tired of remaking sets, but pays off at moments like this, remember that. Look at that, guys. Beaver number three. Sorry, it's a little blurry. We're operating more on moonlight almost than sunlight. But uh, yeah, there's beaver number three. There's the rod. Water level went uh, down. So we're going to get down here and remake this and uh, put in another set here. Well, guys, I'm winded. Uh, just three beaver. I'm happy with it. Uh, we're running, I think, still in that 15 to 20 sets range. I think we're closer to 15. But, uh, got off work, ran the line, and, uh, three more beaver. I believe that brings us to 12 this spring. So, we'll call that a win. Better get home. Supper's almost ready. Hey, trappers. Beautiful day. Sun shining. It's supposed to get to 50 degrees day. We're checking traps. Third location. Got us a nice dry beaver up here on the bank. This one's long chain, so it's got 10 foot of chain. It's been hanging out up here waiting for us. Bridger number three, I believe. So, that'd be beaver number 13 this spring. Sorry about the wind, guys. Alright guys, still dealing with water fluctuation, redoing sets every freaking day. I mean, they're on a two-day check, but I gotta, I gotta keep going down. And you guys see how I set them. That shelf right there was actually down quite a ways in the water, about four inches yesterday. So we dropped, I don't know, another foot last night. But anyways, the rods, or the slide's gone, trap's gone. Let's see what we got here. Alright guys, well it's hard to complain about that. Got another beaver, deep cut, 650. I really like these Bridger 3 
offset laminated in these Duke 650s I'm running. Uh, I'm running uh, Bass Brothers Beaver Lure and Billingsley's uh, chips so far this season. Uh, not a huge beaver, but you know what? I'd rather them be small. 30 pounders, perfect. I don't want to carry any more than that. So that's uh, second beaver day number 14. Let's keep rolling on the line. I'll show you the other set here in a moment. All right, guys, quick thing. At this location, the original caster mound was about right there where that stick was, and the stick was up higher. Okay, so we had some flooding, bunch of washout. You see I moved down, well, actually once and then twice, three times, four times, right? You think at some point the river level out. It just hasn't so far. Uh, but we didn't have a catch here. This is the one with the Duke number three, just the round jaw, just because I don't have enough traps. But uh, it's on a drowning rod. It's reset. So let's keep moving. All right, guys. So we're at the next location. You see here, uh, the trap's clearly not there. It was right there. So you also see the water depth change here. Uh, went down the slider. What's that? Yeah, that's beaver number three. So pretty good day got a couple more spots checked that's three beaver back to back days so far uh, we'll see if we can get number four or five in the truck today all right guys at the next location added some sets in between the two or I don't remember yeah in between the two locations anyways guys you see what I'm doing it's just big pocket sets with a dip down in the mount I pull the mud and mount it up in front it's like a step down appreciate Dale Billingsley kind of teaching me that. He's got a good DVD y'all should check out. Uh, anyways, we got a frog in our big pocket. But more importantly, we got a uh, drowning rod that doesn't have a trap up at the top. So let's see what we got. Well, guys, there it is. Beaver number four today uh, in a Bridger three. Nice deep front foot catch. So that's great news. Uh, I got to remake this set next to it and uh, get this B route and redo this. But you see, the water levels varied so much, guys, that I started to clear up there and I just worked my way down, right? And that's basically what I keep doing. So we'll do that a little more. It'll look like a big chopped out section of bank here before it's all said and done. But beaver number four today. Three yesterday, four today. I'm pretty happy with it. Hey guys, so that's the end of this video. I want to thank all of you for watching me, and uh, you know, we're going to keep hammering beaver. We're having a good time. Uh, I want to take a second to say thank you to the two trappers uh, that taught me how to trap beaver, and that's my dad and uh, Dale Billingsley. I appreciate both of them pointing me in the right direction. Um, I want to thank uh, Mark and Jared Bass for uh, the helpful tips they've given me, and Jared, I appreciate the drowning rods. I'm putting them to good use and uh, and uh, running some good uh, good lures. Uh, so I appreciate everybody. Uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. We're gonna keep going. We're just getting started. I think we're at 15 beaver. Um, that's not you know there's better trappers out there, but I'm just having a good time. Appreciate you guys.